The question says a shell of mass m is at rest initially it explodes into three fragments having mass in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 so let's understand this with the help of a diagram suppose this is the original shell of mass m now it explodes into three shells having masses in ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 so what will be the masses of these three fragments so we can consider m divided by 5 and two parts given to first cell two parts given to second shell and one part given to last shell so their masses are 2m by 5 2m by 5 and m by 5 the next line says if the fragments having equal mass fly off along mutually perpendicular directions with the speed v so let us consider one of the fragment is going rightward with speed v another fragment of same mass is going upward with speed v the third fragment the velocity of third fragment is unknown so let's consider it to be v vector now let's apply conservation of linear momentum in two dimension because the shell explodes with the help of internal forces so there is no external force initial linear momentum is equal to final linear momentum in vector form since initially shell was at rest so initial momentum is zero final momentum for the first shell is we are using mv vector so 2 m by 5 vi cap plus 2 m by 5 vj cap plus m by 5 v vector if we simplify this we'll get let's take m by 5 common so zero vector is equal to m by 5 2 vi I plus 2 vj plus v vector so we will get take m by 5 to the other side it will become 0 so 2 vi cap plus 2 vj cap plus v vector is equal to 0 so v vector is equal to minus 2 vi cap minus 2 vj cap so magnitude of v vector is equal to square root of 2 v whole square plus 2 v whole square which will be root 2 times of 2 v so answer is 2 root 2 v so correct option is fourth